Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Cognizant TCS or any on-campus or any off-campus drive. If you are preparing for Cognizant, then you must have some questions like what will be the communication assessment, what will be the real questions in aptitude round and who is going to conduct the exam, what is the cut of marks and what is the pattern for aptitude round everything you have these questions right so i am going to cover all of these answers in this video so please watch this video till the end and make sure that you have subscribed this video subscribe this channel okay so let me discuss all of these questions one by one so at first let me discuss about the communication assessment so that is uh, actually i have uploaded several videos about the communication assessment if you have missed it then please watch our playlist of cognizant it will be very much helpful for you because there we have uploaded several videos for co uh, like coding questions technical assessment sql questions and uh, like all the things you need all are there okay from the first round to the interview round all the playlists are there so please visit the link will be given in the description box or you can find manually okay and uh, i hope you know like how is the coming coming is assessment will be but still if you don't know then please watch the playlist and then you must have some questions like what will be the real questions so in this video in the upcoming time i'm just covering all of those questions the real questions asked in recent year okay and recently but so who is conducting the exam that is for cognizant aon is conducting the aptitude round where you'll be having total 30 mcq total 30 mcq from quant sections and then you will be having uh, like adaptive adaptive uh, game based aptitude okay why adaptive that means the difficulty level of the aptitude questions app game based aptitude will be keep increasing okay that's why it's adaptive game based aptitude okay so then you'll be having uh, the essay writing and then the technical questions will be asked in Mercer Metal. Okay, so this is the what you have to remember for aptitude round AON is conducting for technical round Mercer Metal is conducting. Okay, now also for communication assessment Mercer Metal is conducting the assessment okay i hope you got to know about the pattern as well so let me discuss the cutoff always the cutoff is uh, nearly about 60 to 60 60 to 70 percent so you have to achieve that accordingly so let me share a few important insight about the cognizant so in the recent year what they are asking in aptitude let me discuss that so in quant section the most preferable uh, chapter is data interpretations from here they're only asking five to seven questions and then uh, ci compound interest or simple interest then profit and loss so these are like the most important chapter work okay and let's say uh yeah so and few two to three more questions like probability combinations and permutations permit so these if you cover these now you will get 25 marks this is what i have observed okay let me discuss what type of data interpretation questions they will ask that is regarding pie chart regarding line chart regarding uh yeah table chart so these are the hot topic in data interpretations let's say they give they have given you one chart okay that can be line or table or pie chart and from that only they will ask five uh, four to five questions so that's the thing if you analyze the image once you can answer four to five questions so let me discuss what will be the shortcut tricks and how to solve all of them quickly so that you don't miss any questions uh, in the exam okay so at first let me share the actual questions how this will look like that is this so this way you will get the questions and you have to answer uh, due to the copyright issue i will not show the full image and you can see this is the pdfs we have included in our prime materials guys if you want the recent 
prime materials for cognizant recent uh, recently asked questions most asked questions and i am assuring you 99% more than 90% questions will be asked from our prime materials so if you have not got that yet then please visit topmen.is/techno_uf there you'll get all of this like this is the students uh, feedback and you can see the materials is updated up to today and also all the fields are available there from the communication assessment to aptitude to technical to interview everything you have there so please visit there and you can see the feedback of students so please visit top enterprise slash technology uf the link will be given in the description box okay so this if this is the image shown to you and this is the question asked then what will be the answer in the please give it in the comment section for which of the following pairs of the years and the total exports from the three companies together are equal you have to add the exports you can see this is the year wise expo uh, like exports and this is the amounts of export okay and amount in crores okay i'm going going to give you the shortcut tricks to solve what you have to do you have to find total exports from one year for each and you have to calculate which two pairs having same uh, export in that in those years okay so let me just take that so here as you can see every number has one zero at least at the end so you can ignore that zero while calculating okay that means let me share that in 1993 and here also all the fields are like 1993 1994 1995 so what you can do is don't write fully 1993 1994 1995 don't write that only write three four five so it is reducing your some time like 199 this if you write this always then it will take time some okay so you ignore that and there you can see in 1993 three so three 6 and 8 what is that 14 plus 3 17 okay i'm not adding the zeros it is also reducing my time okay in 1994 4 6 and 9 so 9 6 15 plus 4 19 okay and in uh, 1995 the number are 4 6 and 12 so 4 6 is 10 plus 12 22 right and in the next year 1996 that is um 6 then 7 then 99 so 6 plus 7 13 plus 9 that is 22 okay that means on 1996 it is 22 that means in which two pairs the total exports are same total exports that is in 1995 and in 1996 the total exports are 22 crores 22 crores so that, that means the correct answer will be option d i hope your answer is also same so if you didn't understand yet then please pause and try to go back and watch the video again so that you can understand it better okay so let me discuss the next question the from the same uh, image you asked four to five questions you have to answer right so this is the question you have to answer now average annual exports during the given period for company y is approximately what percent of the average annual export for company z okay okay so average annual export during the given period for company Y is approximately what percentage of uh, average of the annual export from company Z. So we have to find the average annual export for company Z and average annual export of the company Y. All right. So let me just find that company Y um, for all the years we have to find right. So company Y is having uh, green okay green that means uh, this one so 8 or uh, let me write it here 8 8 plus 4 plus 6 
प्लस सिक्स प्लस एट प्लस टेन प्लस फोर्टीन सो व्हाट इज दिस लाइक एट प्लस फोर सॉरी फोर प्लस सिक्स इट इज टेन एट प्लस सिक्स इट इज फोर्टीन फोर्टीन प्लस एट ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी टू प्लस टेन इज थर्टी टू थर्टी टू प्लस टेन फोर्टी टू प्लस फोर्टीन इज फिफ्टी सिक्स ओके सो फिफ्टी सिक्स बाई सेवन फिफ्टी सिक्स बाई सेवन इज इक्वल टू एट राइट सो फॉर वाई फॉर वाई इट इज एट दिस इज द एवरेज एनुअल एक्सपोर्ट इज एटी क्रोर्स एंड फॉर कंपनी जेड that that is red right so for red what is that that is 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 9 again plus 6 plus 8 and plus 10 so what is the new value that is 6 plus 9 15 15 plus 15 30 30 plus 10, sorry 20. That is 50. 50 plus 10. That is 60. 60 by 7. So 60 by 7. You have to find. So now, let me find one thing that is uh, 60 by 7, right? What percentage of the average annual export for company Z? So whenever we write like this way. uh let's say a of b that means a by b right so here also the average export of the average export of z y average export of average export of z so average export of y was 8 okay 8 so the required percentage will be 8 by 60 by 7 into 100 okay so this is the z and this is the y right so y of z this is this is what the required percentage okay so 6 mm -mm -mm. actually it should be 600 right so we can uh, like cut out that and this should be 70 this should be 80 so 7 sorry 7 into 8 that is 560 so 5 Sixty by six, you can calculate. Okay, so six uh, nine zero six nine zero fifty four and twenty six three zero eighteen. So you can see ninety three is always like already in our answer. So we can click on this. Okay, so I hope you understood. Uh, actually, I should take a yellow pen. Still okay. I hope you understood that the correct option will be ninety three point three three. so this is how you can calculate the problem so again let me go to the next question mm, okay in which year was the difference between the exports from companies x and y the minimum now there is a one another trick what's the trick that is you don't always have to calculate you can calculate after watching the image as well how that is if you see the image for uh company x and y right you have to find the minimum difference x and y so x is uh, blue and y is green so you have to find the minimum difference between blue and green minimum difference so uh, by just watching i can see here uh, here is the difference between 60 and 40 that difference is 20 here also the difference is 20 here also the difference is 7 uh, 70 and 60 only 10 okay only 10 But here it is twenty. Here it is fifty. Uh, here it is all, all, almost fifty. So the correct answer will be actually ten. Why? Because you can see the difference seventy and sixty only in nineteen ninety six. Okay. So that's why the correct answer will be nineteen ninety six. So you don't always have to calculate like this. Uh, if you just do manually, then how would you solve the problem like this? Uh, in nineteen ninety three, the difference is eighty uh, and thirty. 
so 80 and 30 it will become 50 and in 1994 it will be 60 and 40 60 and 40 it will be 20 so this way you have to keep calculating and it you you like your time will be eaten right so that's why you have to go through some uh, other tricks as well that is just go through the image you can solve the problem okay so let me show you the next question so next question is what was the difference between the average exports of the three companies in 1993 and the average exports in 1998 difference between the average exports of three companies in 1993 and in 1998 so you have to calculate the average in 1993 and in 1998 okay in 1993 sorry in 1993 and in 1998 so what is that that is 8 plus 6 plus 3 what is that that is 17 so 17 by 3 and here in 1998 the value is 10 plus uh, 8 plus 5 what is that that is 23 so 23 by 5 sorry 3 now we have to get that uh, difference between the average in 1993 and 1998 right what is the difference that is 23 by 3 minus 17 by 3 so only 3 and 23 minus 17 that is 6 so 3 into 2 that is 20 right 20 crores i hope you wants to guys so this is very simple just you have to focus on this okay guys please recommend me which content do you want more in the uh, next section if you want me to upload uh, like uh, the data interpretation questions like pie chart or line chart or table chart in the next video then please recommend me in the comment section i'll try to make another video for this okay okay so the next question is this in how many of the given years were the exports from company z more than the average annual exports over the given years okay in how many of the given years were the exports from the company z more than the average annual exports over the given years so you uh, like we have to find the average of company z right average export of company z what is that uh, we have already calculated that so company z that is 6 plus 9 that is 15 okay and 12 plus 9 that is 21 and 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 then here 6 plus 8 that is 20 sorry 14 and what is that 10 okay now uh 21 plus 14 that is 35 plus 15 50 plus 10 that is 60 60 by 7 is the average of company z right we have to calculate in how many of the given years where the exports from the company z more than the average annual export over the given years so in how many times so it is equal to uh, 7 8 are 56 and 4 that is mm, mm, seven five right almost 8.85 point something so in how many years it is more than 85 point something that is let's say in 1999 one year and in 1998 and in 1997 uh, and in 1995 okay so total four years are there in which the export is more than the average of the company z export okay so the correct answer will be option four i hope you understood guys so this way you will expect the questions so if you love this video guys then please do subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and if you want me to upload anything then please comment down i'll upload that thank you for today's